So my spirit is telling me, my spirit, <laughs> whatever that is, it is telling me that I'm going to have a lot of new viewers on my channel this moment. So if you're new here, subscribe to my channel, like my videos and enjoy your stay. You're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to learn a lot. I always try to give out valuable information, okay? And those who are already here will testify. <laughs> so how did this video come about? Trust me, this was not part of my content strategies for the month of June. I was not supposed to upload a video until the month of June, but then this golden content idea came up while I was making a joke as usual on my WhatsApp status. So, so we are going to talk about the appropriate time to move out of home. Does it have anything to do with age? I'll tell you no. <laughs> yeah, so I have listed some points that I would like to share on the appropriate time to move out of home when it is time for you to go. And for me, I moved out of home it's been two years, right? It's been two years. And for the joke I cracked on my status, obviously directed at my mom, I talked about how <laughs> I was getting almost everything for free at home from food. I was not paying bills. And then no one kicked me out. No one. I said, it's time. I want to go. <laughs> but then I have reasons, right? Very, very legit reasons. And this is going to be my first two points, okay? very very legit reasons why i moved out of home so i have listed five points down that makes sense for anyone to move out of their parents house and the number four or the fourth point is very very important do not miss out on it and it's something that a lot of people do not talk about and i think that we should all be paying attention to it okay but the first point obviously is financial independence if you don't have money don't move out it's it's <laughs> it's as simple as abc okay if you don't have any stable income coming in every month do not think of moving out and there are certain levels of income that requires that you stay home at least for a while before you plan moving out so Ideally, right? Ideally, I, I believe in um, renting way below your means, okay? If you use half of the amount of money you make every month to rent, I, I feel it's not wise. So, yes, financial independence is very, very important. So, if you can afford it, of course, you can move out, okay? And moving now, it's not only about your rent, it's also about um, your light bills, your water bills, and so many other things. So another reason that makes sense to move out of home is when it takes a long distance to commute to work, to and fro. And that is also another reason why I left home. Um, so the first to apply to me, financial independence, I can afford to rent and do all of those things. And the next thing is because it takes a lot of time, a lot of distance for me to move from my home to work. So for those who don't know, I do not live in Accra. My home is in the central region. I'm not going to tell you where because yeah, it's not important. My home is in the central region and my work is in the greater Accra region. So initially I tried, I tried moving from home to work, but bro, says I was always late. <laughs> I was always late. And one thing about my workplace is that they are very particular about punctuality, about time. Um, I'm supposed to be at work at 8 a.m., right? And they have the policy that if you both be late, uh, you should always let your bosses know uh, in advance so they can make someone work um, for you or so that they can, they, they can fill your role for that particular moment, right? So, and I was always, hello, please, I'll be late. Take my phone, hello, I'll be late. I'll be 10 minutes late, 20 minutes late. Oh, it was way too much. It pressured me a lot. And another thing too was, 
I spent a lot of hours in traffic. Hey, I could spend like two hours in traffic in the morning. Two, three at worst in the morning. It was so bad. It was that very bad. So I was like, <laughs> if I can afford to rent, so why not move out? Why am I killing myself spending hours in traffic? Because it's, it's, it was quite, quite a distance for me. And that was the thing that mainly made me move out. If my house was in Accra, I wouldn't even think of moving out. Like, I wouldn't even think of it. But because my house is in the central region, it was going to bother me. So that was what I was supposed to do. And yeah. And you know, you know how it is being in traffic for hours, right? It's, it's so stressful. Ah, oh, God. By the, time, by the time you get to work, you're even tired. Before you even start working, you even get tired. So that, that was, you know, part of the main reasons why I moved out. The first one being me being able to afford it. Second one being me always being late to work. Because I live in a, I live in a different region and I work in another region. So it was that bad. I couldn't. I couldn't deal with it. So that was it. So, so the rest do not apply to me. <laughs> but it makes sense. It's reasonable that... I mean, there are good enough reasons to want to move out of home, okay? And another one is if your mental health is at stake, okay? Um, not everybody finds joy in their um, respective homes, okay? Um, not everybody finds joy in their homes. Sample... You know, a home is about supposed to be loving, nurturing, caring, happy, excite, exciting. But it's not the case for everyone, unfortunately. Some people don't even live with their biological parents. Maybe they stay with step parents, aunties. And some people are not treated well. And a lot of, a lot of things. See, I can't, I can't even imagine situations for people. But a lot of things come into play that makes it difficult for people to enjoy peace in their homes or in their parent homes. And for that, it makes sense if you would want to move out. Okay. It makes sense because peace is very important. It's it's <laughs> if you can afford to afford peace, buy it. <laughs> hey, this is deep. Hey, quote me anywhere. Quote me in Casalutra's voice. Quote me anywhere. If you can afford to buy peace, buy it in quotes by Bryce Nambon. This is deep. So another sign that you are ready to move out of your parents' house is when you are able to practice safety, okay? And that was a very, very important thing that I spoke about with my mom before I moved out. Um, I have to be safe. I have to protect myself. And... um. It's very, very important, okay? So, how do you practice safety? One, do, do not open your space to everyone. That's it. Like, your space is not it's not a hotel. <laughs> it's not a hotel. Don't be accommodating just anyone, just everyone. Someone can, can come into your space to harm you. Same way, you do not go to other people's spaces because they can also harm you there. So, for me, I've been writing for two years and I can say that only four people that I trust very much, four people have visited me and... People could even uh, accommodate less people. But do, do not, don't be the type that will tell you, can I come sit you there? Tell them, yeah, come, come. No, don't do that. Don't do that. For your own safety, don't do it. Same way, don't be the one that is hopping, moving to people's places, visiting people all over the place, being in people's rooms. It's just not it. It's not. So, Always try to be safe and always let people, let uh, your relatives know where you are, okay? And I'm not talking about going, I'm not even talking about going to visit someone, but when you're going somewhere for a meeting, for an interview, whatever it is, because they are not watching you. They are not watching you. You are practically living on your own by yourself. So you have to make sure that, oh, yeah, when you wake up in the morning, you call home or you call your siblings. Oh, hey, I'm going to meet this person at this, this location. I'm going to meet this person at that that location. Or I'm going for this interview here, here, and here. So I'll come back, I'll call you in the evening, right? People even go for job interviews and they get kidnapped. They get killed, you know. And if you have to meet people, always meet them in a public space. The mall is there. No one, no, no one can can kill you at the mall. <laughs> 
no one can kill you at the mall, okay? If someone is trying to get to know you, a man or woman, public spaces, their restaurants, let them take you there. <laughs> do not invite them to your space and do not go to their spaces. And I emphasize that since I've written for two years, four people have have been exposed to my space, four people. And people that, are, that I have known for a long time, that I have trusted that people around me know. That's very, very important. Do your, do your mutual friends, I mean, do your mutual friends know this person coming to see you? Does your family members know them? If they don't know them, please, don't open your space to them. Someone can literally visit you for the first time and kill you in your own room. How do you think this arm robbery incident happened? Because people have so many friends, they always invite them. They don't even know where, where, you, where you hide your money. In your living room, they know. So if you know where you hide your money, in your bedroom, they know because the mouth is choked. That's how they come and rob you. So you have to be careful and don't let don't let just anyone know where you live. And that's one thing that I'm very, very uncomfortable with. Because usually when I go out and many people, they first ask me, where do you stay? Why do you want to know? Why do you want to know? <laughs> because for me, I don't trust me. Where you stay, I, I don't care. I don't ask people. I don't ask people such questions. I really do not care what people say, right? If I have to meet you, I, I mean, I only ask if we have to have a uh, certain kind of meetings. And I ask because I want to be able to meet you halfway. Like, let's pick a public space that is beneficial for as you are coming from like two extreme ends, okay? But I'm going to just randomly say someone ask you, where did you stay? Which one is that? Hmm? what is that <laughs> so yeah be particular about it okay be particular, about, be particular about your safety don't let people into your space just anyhow not everybody should be in your space same way don't go into other spaces someone tells me can you visit me hey sister and then we this modern Ghana this modern Ghana don't do it don't do it okay take care of yourself it's very very important yeah, so that's it. And uh -huh. And for people who are running businesses, people who are running businesses, you can also still do that without opening your space to others, okay? So for me, when I was selling skincare products actively, I, if I'm not doing deliveries and someone is supposed to come for it, I'll meet you up somewhere and give it to you. Or you wait for me outside my gate. <laughs> you don't wait for me outside my gate. And now, make sure our junction. Meet at the junction and meet with you. You are not entering my space. So you can do that as well. Okay. So yeah. So just be careful. Just be careful. And so this is the end of the video. And I hope you've learned a lot. You've learned stuff. And yeah. Uh, be safe out there. Take care of yourself. And what else do I have to say? Yeah. June. June is going to be crazy. I need to do a lot of finance content in June. I've already planned it. So, yeah, stick and stay. If you're new here, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. You ask the boy already here, you can test if you. They have a great time here. Don't go. Okay, don't go. <laughs> don't only subscribe. Also, turn on notifications so that when my videos are ready, you can also get to watch it. Okay? Yeah, so eh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. So, let's, let's, let's call it a night, right? Bye. <laughs>